Well, it was settled by the Gary family in the early 1800s. The house was built here, local bluestone that's been collected on the property. The walls are two foot thick. It's a great house in summer. It's the junction of the Jugion Creek and the Illalong Creek right behind the house here. So it was built here back then for a reason. They ran a stagecoach business in conjunction with Cobb Co and the Sheehan's, which was another local family from Jugion. They used to spell the horses here and swap horses here in the old stables down below the house. They used to transport mail, gold, and then there's a lot of history here with John Gilbert, Ben Hall, some of the famous bush rangers that used to try and rob the coaches. There's been stories of gunfights between the house and the stables. And that introduced the jail that's located below the house. We've converted the jail into a small apartment and we've managed to keep the old jail bars in the room just to keep that old feel that was there. Illalong is a property next door which Banjo Patterson's father was the manager there. He grew up there as a boy and used to go to school in Bynalong and ride his horse to school. His first published poem was called The Molora Elopement, which was reference to Molora and the stories of well, the manager's daughter. Who decided to run off with one of the station hands and it was quite scandalous at the time. So that was his first published poem that set off a brilliant career. We had partners here for a long time and they bought it back in 98 off the Gary family who were the original family that settled here. It's a very good location as far as transport. We're an hour from Canberra and three hours from Sydney. We're seven kilometres from the Hume Highway so it's very easy to get places. We sit on a lot of titles on the property so we've got great subdivision capacity, we've got double road frontage through the eastern part of the property and road access to the rear as well on the western side so the value of small blocks and subdivision is really occurring a lot. In terms of local services, Bynalong is only seven minutes away, then larger grocery stores and services like doctors, dentists etc. And schools are all in Yass which is only 20 minutes away. We sell a lot of livestock through Yass, Wagga. We're only half an hour from most of our um, requirements, whether it's mechanics, merchandise, grain, fertiliser. We're a mixed grazing enterprise. We grow crops here for grain, but predominantly for livestock fattening and growing during the winter. We're very safe as far as water goes. We've got six creeks. Every paddock's got a dam, or at least one. We've got bores that sort of back up our dam system so we don't actually have tanks or troughs that we have to check every day in summer, both for sheep and cattle. We've got both facilities here where we can mix rations. We've got feedlot facilities to roll and crack grains that we produce on the farm. We generally plant 600 hectares of crop, whether it canola or wheat. We run crossbred lambs here, Madame Marino ewes. We've got some very good soil here. The crops to us let us run more stock through the winter. We know we've got the feed in, we get it in early, start planting in sort of February, make the most of that autumn and then sort of May and through the winter we're fattening stock, we're not just maintaining stock. So we, we are able to um, lock in contracts with Coles or with, with the supermarkets for lamb or feed a cattle into the feedlot.